Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So this is the third video in the series that I'm doing on sarcopenia, a condition that affects over 10% of 50 year olds and is responsible for a death every 19 minutes in America. Now, the good thing is not only is this condition preventable, but if you do have the condition, it's also reversible. Well, that's enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what we can do to prevent getting sarcopenia. Sarcopenia, also known as muscle loss, is a common condition that affects 10% of adults who are over the age of 50. While it can decrease life expectancy and quality of life, there are actions you can take to prevent and even reverse this condition. So what is sarcopenia? Sarcopenia literally means lack of flesh. It's a condition of age associated muscle degeneration that becomes more common in people once they reach the age of 50. After middle age, on average, adults lose 3% of their muscle strength every year. This limits their ability to perform many daily routine activities. Unfortunately, sarcopenia also shortens life expectancy in those it affects compared to individuals who still maintain normal muscle strength. Sarcopenia is caused by an imbalance between signals for muscle growth and signals for muscle teardown. Cell growth processes are called anabolism and cell teardown processes are called catabolism. However, during aging, the body becomes resistant to normal growth signals, tipping the balance towards catabolism and therefore age-related muscle loss. Leading a sedentary lifestyle is the first of four factors that can accelerate age-related muscle loss a condition that we know as sarcopenia. Not using muscles is one of the strongest triggers for sarcopenia, leading to faster muscle loss and increased weakness. Bed rest or immobilization after an injury or after an illness also leads to the rapid loss of muscle mass and muscle strength. Now, although less dramatic, even two or three weeks of decreased walking and other regular activity is also enough to decrease muscle mass and muscle strength and open the door to sarcopenia. Periods of decreased activity can become a vicious cycle. Muscle strength decreases, resulting in greater fatigue and making it even more difficult to return to normal daily activity. A diet providing insufficient calories and protein results in weight loss and diminished muscle mass. Unfortunately, low calorie and low protein diets become more common with aging. This is due to changes in sense of taste, problems with teeth, gums and swallowing, or increased difficulty with shopping and or cooking. To help prevent sarcopenia, Scientists now recommend consuming between 25 and 30 grams of protein at every single meal. After injury or illness, inflammation sends signals to the body to tear down and then rebuild the damaged groups of cells. Chronic or long-term diseases can also result in inflammation that disrupts the normal balance of tear down and healing resulting in age-related muscle loss or sarcopenia. For example, a study of patients with long-term inflammation resulting from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease showed that patients had decreased muscle mass as a result of this particular inflammation. Examples of other diseases that cause long-term inflammation include rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's disease, lupus, vasculitis, severe burns, and chronic infections like TB. A study of 11,249 older adults found that blood levels of C-reactive protein, an indicator of inflammation, strongly predicted the chances of sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is also more common 
in a number of other health conditions that increase stress on the body. For example, people with chronic liver disease and up to 20% of people with chronic heart failure have a heightened chance of experiencing sarcopenia. In chronic kidney disease, stress on the body and decreased activity leads to age-related muscle loss, as we know is also called sarcopenia. Cancer and cancer treatments also place great stress on the body. This also results in age-related muscle loss. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. You can see from that there's only two things that we need to do to mitigate the four factors that bring on the disease of sarcopenia. And fortunately, they will both need a certain amount of willpower. Firstly, exercise, ideally every day, and ideally becoming breathless for more than 10 minutes every day. And probably the most challenging, which is diet. And that is to reduce or completely um, eradicate processed foods from our diets and also to up the whole food element, which is fruit and vegetables, meats and fish, to get the right amount of protein. Um, thanks very much for watching. That's it for today. Uh, I hope to see you in the next video. As always, please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.